And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a rack gear. You can render that as well and it's pretty simple. Extensions, render, gear and then rack gear. And we've got a small menu, just three parameters. Let me check the live preview. And you can see we've got a contact angle of zero and that gives us these 90 degree angles for the teeth. 45 is the max, which gives us the zigzag line. So somewhere between 0 and 45 can be used for the contact angle. Tooth spacing. Let me change that a little bit and you can see that depending on the rack length, we get more and less teeth. So you need to look at it from a relative perspective. So if we, for example, have 50 for the tooth spacing and 2000 for the rack length. We've got 40 of these teeth or let's say a node points. If we make it 550, we've got 10. So this is what it does. And that's basically it for this menu. Just apply it. Then you can close it. And you can treat it as a regular stroke object. So if we go to object, fill and stroke, we can go to stroke paint and add, for example, a different color, make it red. And under stroke style, you can increase the width. Let me set that to pixels and I make it 10. And you can see how thick it now gets. You can also use this render function to create zigzag lines as, you, as you've seen. But in general, this is how you can create these rack ears in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.